Dusty's Trail, oh, Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight. Thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling through the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, eh? That's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's Trail. Dusty, you got everything straight? Yes, sir, Mr. Callahan. You're going to ride ahead to scout the trail, and we're to remain about a mile behind. Right. And don't worry about a thing. I got everything under control. Good. Wagon! Ho! <laughs> well, we'll be getting started as soon as Dusty gets the team hitched up to the stage. Already had them hitched. Yeah, so did he. <laughs> oh, Andy. Yeah, Mr. Callahan. You be sure and keep that wagon close to the stage on the trail today. We have to run into some hackamores. Hackamores? Yeah, Indians. The hackamores are the most hostile and fierce of all the Indians. Doesn't that make you nervous? Not Lulu. Well, I'll match my war paint against their war paint. Anytime. <laughs> well, now that's how it should have been done the first time, Dusty. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, now, if you people get in, we'll get started. I thought I made it perfectly clear that you ought to handle the stagecoach and Dusty can do the scouting. Oh, boy. I'm the wagon master, so I will make the decisions. May I remind you they've just discovered gold in the California Territory? I must get there as quickly as possible to open a western branch of my bank. How many banks you own doesn't mean a thing to me. I also own the company which owns this wagon train. Now, that means something to me. <laughs> well, if that's the way you want it, Dusty, you are going to ride Scout. Oh, wow. I always wanted to ride Scout. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dusty. Fix the stirrup for you. There. I'll show him. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Dusty. For what, Mr. Callahan? For not wearing spurs. Uh, yeah. You. Oh, my gosh.
Darcy! Darcy! Well, I got there just in time. He was being mauled by a bear. What's happened now? He's just a boy. Yeah, a Hakamo Indian. Well, I couldn't leave him there. He might have died. This tribe would have found him buzzard brain. Now they'll find us. Yeah, the Hakamos are noted for their tracking ability. They are. Lulu and I'd better take care of his wounds. Yeah, Andy. Good idea. Then we can drop him off where Dusty found him. Should I water your horse, Mr. Callahan? Oh, boy, that was a smart thing to do. Don't you know that those Hakamos might could be looking for him right now? Yeah, well, at least you covered your trail, huh? <laughs> Lola! Numba! No two! Lola! Lucky Puta! Are you sure the Hackamores are trailing us? Positive, but we can't tell the passengers. They might panic. I wish they would. I'd like a little company. Hey, just quiet down while you put the wheel on the axle. Uh, Besides, I mean, how do you know he's going to follow this trail instead of the other trail? There won't be any other trail. We're going to wipe him out with some brush. Huh? Oh, that's a bright idea. I wonder why I didn't think of it. Because it was a bright idea. <laughs> oh, boy. What happened to your end? Should. <laughs> huh? These wounds don't look too serious. No, but he's starting to get a fever. What are you looking at? The design on this headband. Very unusual. I wonder if it means anything. Andy might know. Before we left, he studied about all the Indians. The rivers, the mountains, everything we'd encounter on the trip. He really came prepared. I should have known. Any man who wears suspenders and a belt is always prepared. Huh? Never mind. Andy! Bringing that Indian boy back here. When are you gonna do something right, Dusty? Mr. Callahan! Whoa! Whoa! What's delaying us now? I gotta talk to Andy. Oops. Well, what's the problem? It's about the Indian boy. If we get in any more trouble over him, I'm gonna use you for target practice. You didn't get a chance to look at his headband before. Now, unless I'm wrong. Sure. Uh, Chief, son? Exactly. Oh, that's great. Just great. Well, you've done it this time. Every brave in that tribe will be after us. On the contrary, a chief's son could be a valuable asset in a trade. Oh? For safe passage through the Hakamaw territory. Safe passage? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> By delivering the chief's son to us, Dusty's all but guaranteed our safety. You know, if anything, he's a hero.
burning with fever. I'll make another wet compress. Might let him sleep a little better. Yeah, we gotta keep him in good shape. Poor thing, he's still unconscious. Yeah, speaking of unconscious, i to wake Dusty up. It's his turn to take over the guard duty. Anything I can get for you? No. I'll just sit with the boy a while. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, it's you, Mr. Callahan. Well, who did you expect, Daniel Boone? Come on, now, wake up, Dusty. It's time for you to take over guard duty. We'll buy that big rock. This is the last watch before dawn. Yes, sir, Mr. Dusty. Callahan. Watch up. I'm awake. Stay that way. Yes, Wake me at dawn so we can get an early start. Right. Dusty. <laughs> what are your orders? Wake you at start. Leave me at early dawn. <laughs> Close enough. She's gone, too. She's not in the wagon. Yeah, I know. Look at those tracks. Moccasins. Looks like a couple Indians came in here and took the boy and Betsy. Hey, where's Dusty? Maybe they took him, too. Oh, no such luck. Dusty, wake up! Wake up! Sorry, Mr. Callahan. I must have dozed off for a few minutes. Yeah, while you dozed off for a few minutes, two braves came in here and captured the Indian boy and Betsy. Two Indian boys captured an Indian Betsy? No, no. Two Betsy's captured the brain. Oh, you old Dusty. Come on. We better pick up the trail. It's fresh. Away from me. The brook, David. Mr. Brookhaven! Hey, God, right in the middle of my obligato. I'm afraid we've got some bad news. The Hackamaws have Betsy tied to a post. Yeah, and those brave people walking past her and poking her with a stick. That means that one of them's gonna take her as his wife. So those scoundrels! I say we should get on our horses and ride! As far away as we can. Mr. Brookhaven, you should be ashamed, suggesting we ride off without attempting a rescue. Yeah, well, one of us could slip in there and get her out. I'll be back as soon as I can. One moment, Wagon Master. What will happen to us if anything happens to you? I'd be in charge. That's a foreboding thought. Yeah, your point is well taken. It'll have to be somebody else. I'll go. He volunteered. Why didn't you? He beat me to it. Now, volunteer. That's an order. I volunteer. Now, Mr. Callahan, I must insist I be allowed to go. Now, in preparing for this trip, I studied several Indian languages, including the Hakamaw dialect. I believe that gives me a distinct advantage. We'll be ready to move as soon as you get back here with Betsy. I should be back with her within an hour, unless I run into a problem. Yeah. You ran into a problem. Listen up. 
I got a great plan how somebody can walk right onto that Hackamore camp without even being noticed. Fantastic. Yeah, well, anyway, somebody wearing these clothes, a little skin dye, and some braids, feathers, they could walk right in there and cut Betsy and Andy loose. That's a great plan. It can't fail. Yeah, the only trouble is somebody wearing these clothes got to be kind of small, slight, built about like... It'll that. never work. Yeah. Looks too red. Better put in some more blueberries, tone you down a bit. Mmm, mm. I taste delicious. Huh. Well, be serious, will you? Two people's lives depend on you. Three, including me. Oh, now listen, little pal. You don't think for a minute I'd let you go over there if there wasn't a good chance you'd come back all right, do you? I guess not. Yeah, yeah. All right, now you grab that on yourself, and I'll go see Lulu and see how the braids are coming. Where'd you get the hair? <laughs> yeah, that looks like a hack and braid, all right. You just don't tell Dusty where I got it. Uh, well, it seems the two of them go very well together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dusty. Now, I better teach you a few words of hack in case you got to speak to somebody. Good idea. How do you say I surrender? Oh, now, stop that. Yeah. Now, listen. I so say you get in a camp. And you cut Andy and Betsy free, you see? And a brave says to you, Chukamaringa Hasas. Then you say to him, Kora Noomba, you see? He has said to you, where are you taking the prisoners? And you say to him, to the chief. You got that? Yeah, yeah. If he says to me, Chunga Kamo Hashin Hash. No, no, no. You just said that you'd catch any worms. Did I say that? Listen up, will you? Now pay attention. We haven't got much time. Repeat after me. Chuka. Chuka. Moringa. Moringa. Hot. Hot. Ha, ha, ha. Now put it all together. Chuku, Moringa. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, that's great. Hey, that's great. No, no, just use the Indian word. Oh. Chuku, yeah. Moringa, ha, ha, ha. Ah, that's fine. Then you say to him. Yes. Put the wagons in a circle. Put the wagons in a circle. We've only got two wagons. You get everybody hit and I'll keep them busy. Are you sure he's here? Yeah, he's a hero. All them braves keep slapping him on the back for capturing me. He may have saved our lives. Huh? Well, the odds are you would have been caught. By capturing you himself, Dusty's proved he's a hackamore. Now he's free to help us. to be his wife. Oh, somebody help me. Please help me. Dusty challenged it to a fight with spears. I did?
That must be the chief. And the little boy Dusty saved. Bakanuga! He just told him a dusty saved his life and uh, we made him well. <laughs> Chuma umlita. He's got to cut us loose. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, darling. Everything's all right. We won. Won caught. It's more like he caught you. She's really a beauty, isn't she? A genuine Appalachian. It's not an Appalachian, it's Appaloosa. And it's not a she, it's a he. I don't care if it's a boy Appaloosa or a girl Appalachian. It's a beauty. <laughs> it sure is. Can I keep him? Yeah, it looks like a wild horse. Uh, there are no shoes. Uh, here. Don't see any sign of a brand. Yeah. Looks like you found yourself a horse, Dusty. Really? It's my own horse and I can keep him? My own horse. Uh, uh, don't, don't fight. I'll see if I can get you out of this. You get in some of the wildest... Don't let go. Let, let go of this one. Huh? huh? Let go! <laughs> Looks like your Opelousa cut off here, Uriah. With them other tracks. I told you it was a horse thief, Marshal. Keep your rope handy, Roy. As soon as we catch up with him, we're gonna hang that barber to the nearest tree. <laughs> Well, it's not exactly the governor's mansion. Oh, no, but it'll sure be nice to sleep inside for one night. That corral's in pretty good shape. I'd be happier with that information if I were a horse. This place looks like it's a rest home for termites. Oh, Carter, why is everything out west so western? Oh, 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 oh. I bump a 
Let's see. Hey, look, everybody. I got myself a wild horse. Dusty, he's beautiful. Well, I'll be. He's a beauty. Yeah, I'm going to call him Freckles in the county. He's got all those freckles. No, those are called blotches. <laughs> I'm still going to call him Freckles. I don't like the name Blotch. <laughs> he is an elegant-looking beast, isn't he? Yeah, it costs you a pretty piece of change to buy one like that. Please, I never invest in anything that eats. <laughs> I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to keep him forever. <laughs> well, it may take you that long to break him. He looks a little ornery to me. I can be just as ornery as he is. Let's need a little practice. Well, afraid we haven't got time, Dusty. We're going to pull out of here at sunup tomorrow. Good. The accommodations here are simply dreadful. Hey, Miss Callahan, guess what? I found a telegraph in there. Oh, boy, a telegraph. I mean, a real telegraph. I... What's a telegraph? Well, it's a new invention by Samuel Morse. Uh, you see that wire? You can send messages over it. You gotta be joshing me. You can't send messages over a skinny little wire like that. You can, the words don't even fit. <laughs> yes, you can. You send it by clicking a series of dots and dashes. <coughs> that invention is gonna make millions. <coughs> What's the matter with him? Nothing. He always cries when he hears of someone else making millions. Oh. Anyway, I figure if I can repair the break in the wire, I can make contact all the way back to St. Louis. Oh, good. We can find out where we are and where to go. How long do you think it'll take you to fix that contraption? A couple of days, maybe three. Oh, great. Then I can break <coughs> freckles while we're waiting. Yeah. And then you'd have your very own horse, Dusty. Yeah. My very own horse. <laughs> Me and Freckles, together forever. Looks like your horse thief joined a wagon train, Uriah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's move, Marshal. I don't want him crossing any borders before we hang him. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that makes 17 times he's hit the ground, according to my count. I counted 18. You're both wrong. It's 20. You forgot the time he bounced twice. Come on, Dusty. Get up on him again, boy. Come on, Dusty. Dusty, why don't you quit for a while? I think he's tired. You think he's tired? Huh? Yeah, he's not throwing me as far as he was before. All right, Dusty, I'm going to show you something about breaking a horse. Yeah. The first thing you got to do is show him who's boss. He knows that. He knows that. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. Uh, to Jones, Bean, Bean, and Stringfellow. Stop. Uh, buy one million shares of Erie Barge. Stop. Mr. Brookhaven, even if I repair this telegraph key, I must use it for more important messages than that. More important than money? Uh, if, if you're not joking, young man, you're sick. <laughs> Feels just like I slipped and fell in the bathtub. Look, it is a bathtub. Well, I'll be... I wonder why anyone would leave it here. Yeah, well, uh, too heavy to carry on a stagecoach. Yeah, they probably busted an axle getting it this far. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A hot bath. A hot bath. Hey, how about that, Dusty? A nice hot bath. Huh? Not big enough for all of us. No, no, separately, little pal, separately. Girls, go heat up some water. Right away. Ah. Yeah, come on. Come on. Right, right. right. Ah. Knees tight. There's a telegraph Marshal. Yeah, it leaks that old relay station up ahead. Uh huh, and so does our horse these tracks. Get that rope ready, Roy. Got it. Ah. Hey. 
hurry with the hot water. My goosebumps are getting bigger than the soap bubbles. <sighs> now, don't be frightened, Freckles. I'm not going to hurt you. Question is, are you going to do the same? Okay. Easy, boy. Easy. 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 This is your friend. Easy. This is your friend. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, acting like a wild animal. Just wanted to be your friend. Some friend you turned out to be. Okay, I'm not going to put up any more horses around, even your horse. Do you understand? Hmm? That won't be for very long. Welcome to the hanging, folks. The strong trees over by that relay station, Marshal. Why don't we hang them over there? Just a minute. Dusty did not steal that horse. You're right. He's innocent. You'll have to prove otherwise. Well, that's easy. This horse is Circle O stock. He's only got one mark on him, and it's mine. And there it is. Circle O. Well, I've looked at a lot of brands, but I never saw that circle before. Well, that horse has always been covered with spots. First time I saw him, I thought he had measles. He's a low-down horse thief, and we're going to hang him. Now, hold on. They're extenuating circumstances. Constable, you must not allow this to happen. Oh, the United States government will not receive another penny of my tax money. But you're supposed to be a lawman. What kind of justice do they have in this territory? Okay, okay. We'll give him a fair trial. Now, that's better. And then we'll hang him. Court. <clears throat> How long have you known the defendant? Since we left the East. In your personal opinion, would he ever steal anything? Oh, no, never. See, I'm innocent. Sit down. We ain't even got to the part about you stealing horses yet. Do you believe that Dusty would go around stealing horses? Your Honor, Dusty wouldn't steal honey from a beehive. There's two things I wouldn't steal, horses and honey. Sit down. Marshal, what's she saying got to do with him stealing my Appaloosa? She's a character witness. What we need here is a miracle witness. Order in the court. <clears throat> Your Honor, may I uh, approach the bench? <clears throat> That's what I call a good approach to the bench. Uh, uh, say what you have to say, ma'am. Well, Your Honor, I'd uh, do just about uh, anything to save Dusty's life. Marshal, if we're going to get on with hanging this fella, don't you go getting swayed by no painted lady. She ain't no painted lady. She's my friend. And if you want to be swayed by my friend, the painted lady, just go right ahead. Uh, uh, you can step down now, miss. Hmm. Uh, 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 Your Honor, I think it is time that I had a talk with you in the privacy of your chambers. I ain't got no chamber. Speak your mind. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, terribly uh, personal. It concerns, uh... Are you offering me a bribe? 
A bribe? How well, dare you, sir? Well, if you are, you're wasting your money. I was merely willing to offer a very great deal of money to have you release this young man on bail permanently. Carter would never dream of bribing anyone. It still sounded like a bribe to me. Uh, let me approach it in a different way. I am willing to pay a large amount of money to this young man here for the misappropriated horse, providing it spares Dusty's life. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brookhaven. The horse ain't for sale, mister. No matter how much money you got. Nonsense. Every man has his price. Women, too. Your Honor. Order in the court. Sit down, mister. You had your piece. Has anybody else got anything to say before I pass judgment? I do. That man is guilty. Right. Oh, I mean, he is guilty of making a simple mistake. Why, well, if Dusty here had thought for a minute that horse belonged to somebody else, he'd have never claimed it for his own. Well, you and I both know we all make stupid mistakes from time to time. I sure do. Just like he's doing now. Right. I should have been the one to find that brand, but I didn't, so it's my fault. And I'm asking you to hang me instead. You don't have to take my blame. Marshal! We found the accused sitting on my horse, not him, and that's a hard fact. Under the circumstances, I ain't got but one choice, and that's to find you, the defendant, guilty. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. Mm. Order the court. I'm afraid we're going to have to hang you, son. What are you afraid about? I'm the one who's going to be hung. We'll hang him at sunup. It only gives me about 12 hours to fix that telegraph. What good is that going to do us now? There's a Territorial Court of Appeals in Johnson City. If I can get the judge there to declare a mistrial, the marshal will have to free Dusty. Uh, Come on, let's shackle him up. Take him over there. Court's adjourned. Now, you can sleep in this tonight. Well, considering the hanging and everything, I don't like the shape of my bed. Well, this way, nobody will have to keep guard, and everybody will get a good night's rest. Now, get in. <coughs> There's no way he's gonna run away, Jane, to this fancy horse barrel. Andy, you go see if you can get that telegraph fixed. I got an idea it might give us the time we need. Right. Yeah, I guess so. That handcuff was really tight. Shh, shh, shh. That handcuff really hurts when you got it on your way. up to Marshall. You don't believe me. I'll show you. Look, like that. See? It hurts, huh? Right. I think the Marshal's waking up. Oh, no. Well, I'm me out with my handcuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be killed before I get home. If we get out of this, I may hang you myself. No. Huh? <laughs> Know the pet. 
penalty for aiding and abetting the escape of a horse thief? We didn't aid and abet anyone. Well, I would have if I could have. We would have if we could have, and we should have. That wagon master sprung him loose. Looks like when we catch up to him, we'll have a double necktie party. <laughs> Will you warn me when you're going to stop? I'm sorry. Stop! Was that fast enough? Oh. Hey, Dusty, do you know where we are? Yeah, I sure do. Up the creek. No, no, this is the place you found at Appaloosa. Oh, no, let's get out of here. I don't want to find another one. I'll get hung oh, twice. No, no, if we can find another set of hoof prints, it might lead us to the real horse thief. Yeah. And we'll split up. We can cover more ground that way. Right. Oh, good. Ah, wait, no. We have got to find something to get these things off of us. Not a chance. These handcuffs are as solid as a rock. Well, keep looking at them. Okay. Can't see anything. Neither can I. Well, I guess we're going to be stuck together for the rest of our lives. I guess so. I... Hey, how'd you do that? How did I... How did I do that? Never mind, never mind. When we're old and sitting in rocking chairs, we'll figure it out. But we will never live to get old if we don't find that horse thief. I'll tell you what. You take that trail. I'll go down that way. If either one of us spot anything, we meet back here. All right? Yeah. Well, take him off, young fella. Some folks like to die with their boots on. Not me. Please reconsider what you're doing. Hey! Hold the hanging! Hold the hanging! Here, here's the horse beef right here. It's Crazy Blue! Crazy Blue? That's the wild stallion that's been chasing horses off all over the territory. Oh, I thought he was dead. He's been around these parts for years. Yeah, well, he's driven some of your prize stock into a box canyon about four miles from here. He could have driven off that Appaloosa of yours, too. Well, yeah. I suppose he could have. Well, now, I reckon we almost made a dumb mistake. You are free to go, Sonny. I know, I know. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, I don't know how to say thank you, except thank you. Oh, that's all right, little pal. You'd have done anything in the world to save my neck, wouldn't you? I'd save your whole body. <laughs> <laughs> on your mind? The man we passed yesterday, she said there's a wagon train over here with some real pretty girls. We'd like to get friendly with them. Well, you can see there's no women at all on this wagon no. train here. You can no. see. We know you got girls here. We want to meet them. Or else. Or else what? Or else this. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, now that you've explained it. <clears throat> get their guns, McGurk. Right, Jake. All right, I'll just take these. Now, we'll get some Brandon to do, but we'll be back before sundown. Brandon? Uh, how many head of cattle you got, McGurk? Well, that depends on how many we can steal. I'll just take this shotgun here, too. Oh, there's another one hit under the seat, Jake. And you just be worrying about sundown. Make sure those women are friendly. Yeah. Now, he shattered it. Yeah, without even aiming. See you before sundown. Bam! 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 bam. Yep. Now, stop that. Betsy and Lulu are in real trouble. Got to be some way out of this. I got a way. Let's run, huh? Dusty! Now, now, Dusty may be right, Mr. Callahan. We've got that spare wheel in the wagon, and they said they won't be back before sundown. Ah, you're right. All right, let's get her on and get rolling. That, you go round up the others and get them back here as fast as you can. Right. As soon as I tell them about Jacob McGurk, they'll come running. That... <laughs> Listen, huh? you go get them and get them back here, but don't say a word. You'll only scare them. Yeah, and what they don't know won't hurt them, understand? Sure. Right now, I'm scared to death. <laughs> and don't worry, Mr. Callahan. I won't be the word to them. Betsy, <laughs> Lulu, we got to get back to camp. Hurry. What's the hurry? I can't tell you. Well, why can't you tell us? I can't tell you why I can't tell you, because that would be telling. But well, we got to get started real quick before it's too late. Too late for what? It's too late for us. 
Don't, don't ask me anything more. I can't tell you about McGurk and then Jake and the danger and the cattle thieves. Well, who are McGurk and Jake? What danger? And what cattle thieves? Tufty, you're not making sense. I know. I'll see you back at camp. Ready for the peasant hunt, my dear? Ready when you are, Carter. Then tally ho! <coughs> Here, peasant, peasant, peasant! One more time, dear. I think you interest him. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Brookhaven, come on, hurry. Hurry? Where? Mr. Callahan wants everybody back at the wagons and packed up right away. It's important. What could be more important than pheasant under glass? Us, uh, underground. Underground? What are you talking about? I can't tell you, because if I tell you what I'm not supposed to tell you, uh, you'll only get scared. Scared? Uh, scared of what? I can't tell you about the danger. What danger? Well, there's Jake and McGurk and the women and bam, 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 bam! I'll see you back at camp. In hurry! Yes, yes. Let's hope that axle holds up till we get to the next town. Yeah, I hope so. Let's get this wagon loaded. I want to get out of here pronto. I did it, Mr. Callahan. They're all coming. And you didn't tell anybody why? Not a hint. I promised, didn't I? Mr. Callahan! Oh, Mr. Callahan, why are we leaving? And, and who are Jake and McGurk? And what's this about cattle thieves in danger? And what was it? Bam, 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 bam! Not even a hint, huh? Well, maybe a little teeny one. I demand to know what is going on. All right, hold it, hold it, everybody. There's two cattle thieves named Jake and McGurk. They came riding in here demanding our women. We tried to put them off, but they got our guns. They're going to be back by sundown looking for these women, and I want this wagon train packed and rolling before then. I'll be packed in one second. Oh, me too. What about the pheasants? Blast the pheasants. They can pack for themselves. Best to get the horses. Right away, sir. All right, let's get this thing going here. Come on, you guys. you got to get out of here. There's a lot of danger. we got to get back to the wagon. we got to take you guys down there. Jacob or Girk's coming back before sundown. Come on. Okay. Everybody, get ready. we got to get going. Oh, wait, wait for me. No, you guys. Come on, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. We're on your own, Mr. Callahan. Where are we? Now, Dusty will be right here with the horses. Hey, Dusty, where are the horses? Well, that's a good question. The only problem is there's four answers. Four answers? Yeah, north, south, east, and west. Uh oh. Take us all day to round those horses up. Looks like we're stuck here. What do you mean we're stuck here? With those men do before sundown? Mr. Callahan, you are paid to defend us. You must simply protect our women. Poor Betsy and Lulu. What about me, Carter? I'm a woman, too. Oh, of course you are, my pet. Uh, but uh, Betsy and Lulu are single, whereas you are married to me, your valiant knight, your protector. So beautifully put, Carter. I thought so, too, dear. What are we going to do? Well, without our guns, our only chance is yell them at a surprise. we got to take them unawares and overpower them. But how? Oh, they're coming here for girls? Yeah, we'll give them girls. Nice, friendly girls. Okay, turn around. I want to see the back. Well, you too, Dusty. <laughs> I went to my first dance in this dress, Dusty. Yeah, I bet you look better than I do. I feel silly. What kind of scout wears girls' clothes? A girl scout. Shut up and paint your lips. There, you're beautiful. Are we really? <laughs> oh, your bloomers are slipping. I'll do it. I don't say to keep these things up without suspenders anyway. Hey, now listen, I want you girls to stay in that wagon out of sight. You got that? You ready, Dolly? Ready, Kitty. Good luck. We know you're risking your lives for us. And our reputations. <laughs> All right, come on, Dolly. Let's don't keep our dates waiting. <laughs> Dusty, watch your dress. I can't help it. I'm always nervous on the first date. Yeah, relax. All you got to do is be sweet, get your guns away from them. You just, you know, sit there and, and smile pretty. Like this? Yeah. Lucky thing for us, they haven't seen a woman in a long time. You call that lucky? Well, what do we have here? Looks like we got us a couple of real cuties. <laughs> 
Hey, baby, you can call me McGurk. No, I'm Dolly. Oh, your beard tickles. <laughs> I'm Kitty. Who oh, are you, oh, big boy? Oh, oh. Jake. Now, where's me? And I'm here to get friendly. <laughs> Come here. Say, now. you're a, a big girl, aren't you? Dolly. <laughs> well, there's that much more to get friendly with. <laughs> I think you're mighty pretty, darling. Now, come here. Oh, not so tight. Don't be so shy, Dolly. Remember, we're here to get friendly. Come on. Yes, I do, but how's a girl supposed to breathe? Let's show them how, huh, Kitty? You're wearing a gun. I always wear a gun. But they frightened me so. I... Couldn't you just make an exception for me? Well, considering it's... For you, I... Nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Come here. All right, come on, Dolly. Look how good they're getting along. Oh, come on. Well, look, oh, let's talk for a second. What do you think of the weather? Oh, I think it's fine. Hello, oh, everybody. Good push, Lately. Now, will you quit stalling? I'm getting mad. <laughs> now, don't do that. She's just shy. I'll talk to her. First, don't morning. be too long now, Kitty. Yeah. I'm waiting. What's the matter? Are you crazy or something? You're supposed to be friendly. He's not my type. You don't have to marry him. You just got to get him away from his gun. I'll get back in there and be friendly. Okay. But I wish he'd shave. Well, it's all straightened out now. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Now, come on, Dolphy. Oh, your gun is poking a hole in my corset. That's all. It's bothering you. Come here. Oh, why do we... Why do we get over here? We just... This is more like it. Yeah, well, let's just move over a little bit, huh? Now, now wait, sweetheart. I just, I just want to stroke your hair. Now, that's it. That's it. Oh, right there. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Get him out! Get him out! All right, you two. Nobody does this to us. Now you're gonna get it. You know, there for a while, I really started to like you. No, don't shoot! Here we are. Girls! It's real ones! Get him to the horses! Let's get out of here! You two just stick right where you are. Come on. Uh, yeah. What happened? Yeah, everything was going great, but those cutthroats, they outsmarted us, and they've kidnapped Lulu and Betsy. Mr. Callahan, you promised us you were going to overpower them. We tried, Mr. Buckhaven. Yeah, we would have succeeded except for one thing. What was that? Me. Lulu and Betsy? Kidnapped by those ruffians. Absolutely barbaric. You know, Mr. Callahan, the way Jake and McGurk keep coming back here, I figure they must be camped somewhere nearby. Good thinking, Andy. Good thinking. Let's see if we can pick up their trail, track them down. <laughs> Wipe off your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Friends in the dresses? You know, you're prettier than them other guys. I'm gonna like you. <gasps> Mom, oh, please don't touch me. I, I'm a school teacher. School teacher? Mm -hmm. well, I'd like to get some learning. <laughs> We're glad you ladies happened to pay us a visit. I'm sure you are. This place is a mess. There's dust all over everything. So what? Well, we would never get friendly in a dirty place like this. Now, would we, Betsy? Oh, no. Well, but there's, there's dust all over the table. <coughs> Wait a minute. We, we have to get here to get friendly, not to clean. First things first. 
Here, now you dust the table. You sweep. Well, I ain't gonna sweep. Do you want us to get friendly or don't you? Well, uh... That's more like it. Now you get all the corners, okay? Betsy, come over here. This window's filthy. Think we can stall them. Get my friends come and save us. <laughs> I just keep dusting until they get here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Keep a sharp lookout. Any sign of a trail. Footprints, broken branches, anything. Huh? Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that. All I keep finding are pieces of petticoat like this. Hey, that's a woman's petticoat. Yeah. Look, there's another one. Hey, Lulu. Yeah, she'd think of that. She must have torn these strips off to leave us a trail. All we got to do is follow them, lead us right to them. We better hope it's a short trail or a long petticoat. When we find them, we better have a plan. You're right, Andy. Yeah, without any guns, we got... Ah, wait a minute. Uh, oh, 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 maybe, just maybe, yeah. Yeah, you and I will follow the trail. Dusty, you go get the Brookhavens. Hey, wait. Now get the bugle. Pots, pans, dishes, anything that'll make a lot of noise. Oh, and those uh, firecrackers we're saving for the 4th of July. Coils of rope and all the sacks of flour that you can carry. All right, and hurry and catch up with us on the trail. What's all that stuff for? I'm going to call out the cavalry. Our, the cavalry? Our cavalry. What cavalry? Our cavalry. Oh, that cavalry. Yes. Our cavalry? I'll explain it to you later. Come on. <laughs> That's enough, Greenan. Let's get to know each other a little better. Huh? Well, yes. Yeah. Certainly got to admit, the place looks a lot nicer. Yeah, all spick and span. Yeah. All ready to get acquainted in. Come on over to that. Uh, just a moment. Uh, the place looks nice and clean. But you fellas don't. You mean now we have to wash? You mean just to get acquainted? Well, of course. After all, you are entertaining ladies. Uh, here we are. Uh, huh? Um... You first. I don't believe this. Ah, uh, don't forget your ears. Good, now here's the soap. Soap? That does it. Now quick stolen or we'll have to get tough. What do you mean? He means we want to get chummy, that's what he means. Well, you don't have to shout, I mean... All you have to do is say so. We were too busy cleaning. Now, you two sit down over here and start getting friendly. That's the place. I see their horses. All right, bring those supplies up. When do we rush them? We can't. They got Lulu and Betsy down there. It's too dangerous. We got to scare them out. Mr. Callahan, where is your cavalry? We've dragged these supplies for miles. And how many will there be for dinner? That is our cavalry. I beg your pardon. Follow me. I know a lovely sewing game. We'd prefer a kissing game. Uh, oh, I know a great kissing game. Uh, the two of you sit down. Yeah. And then, uh, close your eyes. And one of us will kiss you, and you try and guess who it is. Won't that be fun? Well, let's start. Okay. <coughs> now, close your eyes. Tight. Now, no peeking. I'm waiting. Ready. Lulu. No. Guess again. Uh, uh, Lulu. Uh, Betsy. Nope, wrong again. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, you two get back in there. Sit down.
wait here. We gotta move fast. Everybody remembers what they're supposed to do when I give the signal. Aye, aye, Captain Frank. I sure hope this plan works. <laughs> it's a splendid plan. I'm in the reserves, you know. Come, my dear. A ten. Turn. Forward. March. <laughs> Come on. Help! 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 Ain't no use in screaming. There ain't nobody around for miles. Our friends are gonna save us. They'll get there for this. Those two guys in the skirt. <laughs> now, there ain't no use of struggling here. Huff, 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 huff. Hey, you want to put that right on here? Hey, you got firecrackers ready? All ready. All right, Dusty, come on, give us some. meeting this way, huh? You all right, Dusty boy? Oh, sure, Mr. Callahan. I'm just fine. Well, we don't have to worry about Jake and McGurk anymore. The sheriff tells me they're gonna be locked up for a long time. That's great. Yeah. You know something, Mr. Callahan? He really looked tall and straight in that saddle today. Really? Yeah, and something else, too. Looks like he lost a lot of weight, especially around your middle. I got to take my corset off, Dolly. Hey, wagon! Hello!
child burning wells. Pop, 114. Wonder how old mom is. Well, I wonder where everybody is. everyone. I don't know. It looks to me like we found ourselves a ghost town. I think one of them is trying to tell us something. A ghost town. Yeah. I don't like it. Got a feeling somebody's behind me breathing hot and heavy down my neck. There is, Callahan. <laughs> Dusty! I told you to stay close, not that close. Hey, Mr. Callahan, you know, this place is in pretty good shape for a ghost town. I don't think we're as alone here as we think. You feel that too, huh? Feel what? Well, I got... Well, like somebody's watching us. Listen, I'll tell you what. You and Mr. Brookhaven scout the north side of the street. Dusty and I'll take the south side. You ladies, you stay right here by this wagon. Yeah, look, if something scares you while we're away, you just fire a shot, we'll come running. That, what are you shooting at? I'm just testing. Look, wait, wait till I tell you, huh? Come on. town hasn't been deserted very long. Look at the blacksmith's forge. The coals are still hot. Mm. I don't see any horses. Oh, perhaps they all went off in the fox hunt. <laughs> I don't know. There's something mysterious going on. Maybe the barber shop will tell us something. You want to come with me? No. Do you want to stay here? No. Where would you like to be? Back in Boston. <laughs> I know someone staring at us. I can just feel it. So can I. But then I kind of like being stared at. It does seem odd. Yet there's no one in town to do the staring. There's some clothes up there on the clothesline. Everybody must have left in a hurry. Yeah. They must have cleared out faster than the Gold Nugget Saloon the night Two-Ton Tilly tried to do the belly dance. Scare the women, but I smell some trouble up ahead. Now you you stay close and cover my back, all right? Okay, okay. Dusty. I said cover my back, not get glued to it. Now come on, I want to check out that saloon up there. Hey, you see that? Maybe it's only the wind. Maybe somebody in there waiting for us. It's the wind. I'm sure it's the wind. I've never been so sure of anything my whole life that it's the wind. Why? Because I don't want to go in there and find out it's not the wind. Let's go. Huh? No, I'll go check out the saloon. I, I just remembered. I'm a miner. I'm not allowed. All right, little pal. You stay out here. I'll check the saloon. Don't leave me out here in the street alone. Oh, no. I'll go, I'll go in and check. Oh. Well, what's the matter? What'd you see? The dance hall hostess. Well, dance all hostess. Let's go talk to her. Me, she's the ugliest woman I've ever seen in my whole life. She's got a big nose and her hair's going out of her head like horns, and her eyes are all glassy and beady and red, and her skin is all kind of... That's not a dance hall hostess. Look again. It's a moose head. Yeah, a moose head. I wonder how fast he was going when he hit that wall. It... <laughs> Took you so long in the barber shop. I made an interesting discovery. Found a pair of boots, a pair of pants, and a pair of socks. Do you know what that means? Certainly, some cowhand was having his legs shaved. It means that somebody left the shop in too much of a hurry to even dress. Judging by the quality of his trousers, I guess he rushed off to shoot his tailor. I've got a feeling it's all part of the same mystery. Let's go over to the newspaper office. Maybe the last edition of the paper will give us a clue. Good. Maybe they'll have a stock market report. Come along. 
so dark in here, I wish we had a lantern or something. Maybe there's something behind the bar. Hello? Oh, hey, I found a candle. Hey, good little pal. Here, let me light it for you. Well, now we can see what's what. I can see the saloon and the tables and the gunpowder. What gunpowder? What, this whole bar is stacked with gunpowder. Why would a saloon be full of gunpowder? I don't know. Hold that candle down here so I can say... Uh, uh, Dusty? Hmm? That's not a candle. Sure it is. You just said it was. Why would you lie? No, no, that, that's not a... Uh, that is a st stick of uh, gunpowder. That's why you uh, wouldn't lie, because it's a stick of uh, gunpowder. Uh, 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 what am I going to do with it? Throw, throw it out the window! Uh, no, if I throw it out the window, I'll break the window! No, please, for Pete's uh, sake, throw it out the window, Dusty! Oh, no. Didn't you hear me? Huh? Oh, you know how they say when you're going to die, your whole life passes right in front of you? Yeah. Mine was only half done. You know, it's really interesting. Hey, that sounds like a trouble signal. Let's go. Hey, what is it? Everybody here all right? Yeah, so far, but I wouldn't count on our future. We found the reason the town people deserted. It's right here in this newspaper. Oh, I'll take one. Here, keep the change. What? Scholar Brothers, outlaws. I never heard of them. It says here they're armed bank robbers and murderers. Perhaps they had an unpleasant childhood. Daphne sees good in everyone. Well, the scholars threatened to come back to town and kill everyone. If they didn't give them all their money and their valuables. Yeah, it's plain as nose on your face, just a case of blackmail. So, the whole lily-livered town took a powder. I think the townspeople were wise to run, especially the wealthy ones. And I happen to be a member of that club. Come along, Daphne. Now, wait a minute. Everybody just simmer down. By the way, I see it. They've already come and gone. They saw the town was empty, and they just took off. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> well, off. It's not absolute. <laughs> Way to California by now. I suddenly realized it was my job to help you protect everybody. Huh. Especially me. Yeah. Mr. Callahan, the Scalders obviously believe that we are citizens of this town. Now, I think we should let them know that we're perfect strangers. I think they'd let us go. Yeah, with their record, I don't think they'd buy that. Nevertheless, I would like to inform them who we are. Oh, please, be my guest, yes. I say out there, we are perfect strangers. We are perfect strangers. Well, I guess they figure nobody can be perfect, huh? Hey, wait. Come here. Didn't you see what just happened to Mr. Brookhaven? Well, well yes, sir, but the scholars aren't animals. I'm sure they'd recognize the white flag of truce. What makes you think so? What well, happens to be the code of the West. Yeah, the code of the West. Huh? Oh, there it is. Maybe the code of the East. Hmm? Those scholars haven't fired at us for quite a while. Maybe they're out of bullets. Somehow I don't think so. Hey, hey Mr. Callahan, one of the scholars is riding right for us. We got a visitor, but that ain't one of the scholars. Come on. A scarecrow. Hey, baby, hold on. Hold yeah. on there now a minute. A dead scarecrow. Look at that knife. Yes, yeah, hold it a message. Ooh, I hate the sight of blood, even if it's straw. We have the town surrounded. Fork over all your gold and stuff by sunup or we'll burn you out. They're bluffing, of course. 
And if you think we're bluffing, you're a bigger dummy than the one on the jackass. Well, we still got a problem, but at least we're safer in here than we are out on that street. Where do we go from here, Mr. Callahan? We don't go any place. Too dangerous out there. Impossible. How can three men surround a town? Because they got a lot of guns. Besides, they got the only road out of here blocked. I do not believe those ruffians realize they are jeopardizing the lives of women. Mrs. Brookhaven, the Scarlet Brothers do not care about women, men, children, pets, or anything else. Lulu? Betsy? I think it's time we stepped in. At a girl, Mrs. D. I'm with you. Me too, Mrs. Brookhaven. Daphne, dear. Not now, Carter. Good heavens, just like a mother. But Mrs. Brookhaven, as your wagon master, I cannot permit... Stand aside, Mr. Callahan. Take my hand, girl. I think it's time we showed these men what women can do. Mrs. B, you've got more sand in your little craw than a Gila monster with a long neck. Thank you. Wait, wait a minute. That, have you all lost your minds? I mean, those Skullner brothers will show no mercy. They would never dare shoot a woman. Only a bounder or a cad would entertain such a notion. Well, I cannot... Pr <laughs> hey! Just the enemy! There were two bounders and a cad out there. I guess you better change. Daphne, cover up your pantaloons. If anyone should see you like that, we'd be drummed right out of the country club. You know, it's no use. They've got us covered so tight, it'd take an army to penetrate their position. <laughs> army? Andy? Hmm? Ha, that's the answer. Yeah, army, that's the answer. But what is the question? Fort Hotchkiss. It's, it's just over the hill there. If one of us could get up over those rocks, we could get some help. We can draw straws to see who goes. No, no, I'm the wagon master. I should be the one to do this. I still think we should draw straws. The straw... Oh, yeah, Andy. Straws, that's the answer. Yeah, straws, that's the answer, but I still know the uh, question. No, I'll explain. Uh, you look great, Mr. Callahan. Thank you, Dusty. By the time the Skullner brothers figure out you're not a scarecrow, you'll be on your way to Fort Hotchkiss. Don't ever give me a second look. <laughs> Neither will a crow. <laughs> Only trouble is this stuff makes you want to sneeze. Whatever you do, don't sneeze. No, if you sneeze, you're a dead man. All right. Wish me luck. Luck, luck. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> Our wagon master is a very brave man. Oh, I'd say he's braver than that. I say he's a very, very brave man. To show my appreciation, in case Mr. Callahan is killed in this attempt to save our lives, I intend to raise his salary. Woo-wee! Ain't we gonna have us some fun? Them town folks is pinned down as cold as a dead carp in February. <laughs> We're gonna get all their gold and burn them all down, too. <laughs> there we is. Ho! Oh. Something's headed this way. Hey, save your bullets, Luke. It's only that old jackass we set up. Them folks are so scared they can't even hang on to a straw man on a swayback mule. <laughs> <laughs> On, put one foot in front of the other there. Now that scarecrow looks a little different. If you ask me, it looks like his nose is grow to mite. Well, let's just see which one of us can shoot it flat again. Come on, let's... Let's... Hey, that ain't no scarecrow. That's a real dummy. Let him have it, boys. <laughs> Barney and good old Freckles. They came back and the rest of the horses followed them. Yeah, that ought to do it. It's a great idea, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, I've used that trick before. All that stuff on the wheels keep nice and quiet. We'll be able to sneak out of town real easy. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? Yeah, it sure feels funny looking at my bustle on a different caboose. Yeah, now we got those wagon wheels all silenced so all of you can get out of here without any trouble. All of it? Oh, Mr. Callahan, aren't you going with us? No, no, no. I got a plan. I'm going to stay here and keep those Skullner boys. Oh, busy. no, you're not. I'm going to take this way. 
I'm your wagon master. I made up my mind. I can't let you do it. I can't let you face him alone. I hardly agree with Dusty. Perhaps the lad should stay with you. No, no, Dusty has got to scout the trail, take care of the animals. Uh, hey, look. You know that big tall mountain over there, north northwest? You head him right toward that. Uh, north by northwest. Uh, north, north, yeah, Bubba. You're quite a guy, Cal. And when I open up Lulu's saloon, I'm, I'm going to name a drink after you. Now, you just make sure it's a tall one and don't put it in too much water. Huh? <laughs> okay, that's all right. I've learned a lot from you, Callahan. Okay. okay. You're a real wagon master. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Well, Mr. Callahan, I know we'll see you soon. Yeah, of course you will. Good. Run along, baby. Mr. Callahan, all of Mr. Brookhaven's money couldn't pay you for what you're about to do. Oh, what you said. But you know, Mr. Callahan, he's quite right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mr. Brookhaven, Mr. Brookhaven. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you before I leave? Uh, yeah. Why don't we see if all the weapons are loaded, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Winchester, 44. Yep. Check. Single barrel. Check. Double barrel. Check. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Listen, I'll, I'll get a bandage behind the bar for you. All right. Yes. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 All up to you now, Andy. I'm sorry, but, the, you know, there's nothing I can... Well, you've done all you can. How did the accident happen? Well, uh... Oh, it's all my dumb fault. Uh, no, we got this one caught in the, the breach of that shotgun there. That wasn't the dumb thing. The real dumb thing was he, he had his hand on the bar like this, you know, and I went in to get a bandage, I took a killer top like that and went... Yo! Well, I'll tell you one thing, that just about settles our hash. We've got to have faith, Mr. Callahan. There's got to be a way to stop the Skullner brothers. Yeah, maybe if Bat Masterson rode into town. He's... Yeah, Bat Masterson could do it. Good little guy like me. When those bad guys saw him with that cane, they ran for their lives. Mm -hmm. Way ahead of you, Cal. I'm gonna go get my makeup kit. Folks, meet Bat Masterson. <laughs> yeah, spit an image. <laughs> there you go, one of Mr. Brookhaven's very best. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Oh. Are you sure I look enough like Bat and Asses and the Fool of Skullner Brothers? Yeah, well, if you just look a little tougher, you know. Like you mean business. Yeah, now, now you get it. Come on. Ah, that's it, that's, that's it. perfect, Dusty. Take a look. It's sun out, Mr. Callahan. Skullners will be heading this way any minute. All right, now you just go out there and face them. And if I got this figured right, there won't even be any gunplay. We'll have you covered from here as best we can. I guess this is it. Poor Dusty. We may never see him again. Yes, you will, honey. That's a closet. <laughs> Masterson doing here. Let's go see. The scholars have dismounted. They're coming after him. Yeah, we better get ready to protect them. Yeah.
that's Bat Masterson, all right. We give up, Bat. Hey, Andy, you hog tie them critters good and tight. Say, Dusty, that was a pretty good thing you done there with that cane. How'd you do that? Easy, Mr. Callahan. All I did was just take it like this, and I threw it in the air, and then I waited for it to come down. <laughs> mm. Mm.